Gemini. Welcome to your mid-October. I hope you're doing well. Okay, guys. I waited to do these on the full moon. I just love full moons. Especially ones in my sign, right? So I thought we would grab all that energy. Good, bad, or indifferent. We want it, right? Don't forget, guys, watch your sun, moon, and rising, okay? If you choose. I shouldn't say that. If you choose. Our overall energy is the Five of Swords. Okay, that means many different things, uh, and you can be on either end of this this reading, right? You could be on the giving or the receiving end. So let's go through the cards first, and then I'll pull it all together. Okay, this is card though of um, you know, it's either overpowering someone, being overpowered. Uh, a shallow victory, you know, saying something that, you know, either way, fives need reassessment when they show up. They come with a, a warning attached to them, regardless, that you need to look at something differently. You need to uh, come at it a different way, address it a different way, either way. This is also a card, though, of needing to stick up for yourself, speak up, be heard, um, draw some boundaries here. But we'll go back as to what that's about, okay? How you show up here is the Knight of Coins crossed by the Five of Cups. Okay, remember, Knights uh, bring messages. They're usually, though, Knights to me are usually situations. So it could be a monetary situation, a relationship, something didn't clearly turn out um, the way that you had anticipated. Okay, but let's see why. In your past, you've got the moon card, okay? That's about, um, you know, things don't always look the same. We may be missing pieces. It's not a card of action. It's a card of introspection, looking at things, um, fears. It's also, after we go through something, it's... It's, you know, what comes out to the light end of it is, is who we really are, okay? This card always tells you to trust your intuition. Trust your instincts. They're not going to fail you, okay? That's washing over this reading, okay? Where you're anchored here is the Ace of Cups, okay? That's um, a new relationship. Something that you're passionate about. Um, it's the seed of it. Okay, it's starting, it hasn't gone anywhere though yet. Okay, it's the hand of the divine, uh, you know, giving you this, this gift. Okay, it's where you're anchored. I love to see that card there. Okay, what crowns you is the justice card. Okay, she's a karmic card. Trust, strong foundations, balance, uh, you know, morals, doing things the right way. Um, and her core, she's about truth, okay? Justice for all, okay? 
the near future, you've got the temperance card here. Okay? Temperance is about um, balance, not so much as patience. It's about balance. Okay? After you go through this, what you come out with here after the dark night of the soul is what you're balancing between these two cups. You know, it's what's left of yourself that's, you, you know, the fluidity of yourself. You know, so you're, you're being kind to yourself. You're rebuilding yourself. You're healing, okay? Archangel Raphael is in here, so it's healing on any front, okay? The bridge here where you go is the Knight of Cups, okay? Again, an emotional journey. It's a situation that's got an emotional pull attached to it, okay? It's got some some pull to it, okay? And clearly it does because something didn't turn out here how you had anticipated, okay? But it is a blessing in disguise here. We've just yet to see it, right? That's okay. The Knight of Cups, though, I mean, you've got, your anchor is the Ace of Cups. This could be an actual person, okay? But keep in mind that if it is an actual person, I'm going to say this. Sometimes a lot of what they're bringing to the table is illusionary. It's been thought through up here. It's just that's all that it is. It, they're, they're not, they don't drop anchor sometimes, okay, unless they're at the end of this journey. But this is an emotional journey. I don't think this is an actual um, Let's pull it together at the end. Your home, your day-to-day -day is the magician, okay? That's, again, a card of uh, telling you, you've got all that you need to bring to manifestation what you're trying to do here, okay? Um, given that this was our energy, make sure that you're not or are not being either end of the coin, guys, make sure that you're not over manipulating, manipulating someone, okay, because these two cards can actually speak of manipulation being done to you or, um, you know, you're the one doing it, one of the two, it can, it can speak to that. Your hopes and fears, you've got the ten of swords, um, that is the end of something that's not going to be revived, okay, again, this card has been changed so many times through the years. What it actually is, is those swords really aren't in the person. They're, they're lining your road to the sun, meaning that, you know, this is the end of the, the bad part. The sun is coming out again. It's, you know, it's the end, okay? It can also be the end of how we think about something, too. It doesn't need to be, you know, it could just, just be that, exactly that. Okay. The outbound card here, we have the Empress. There's a lot going on under the scenes here that none of these cards are cards of action. That's why I don't think these knights are people. I think they're situations. Okay, but there's a lot going on here. You've got the Moon card, the Temperance card, the Judgment card, I'm sorry, the Justice card, the Magician, and now the High Priestess. Our overall energy is the Five of Swords. Underneath it is the Ten of Coins. Okay, that's the Inheritance card, the Estate card, the Family card. Okay. I'm going to say this. You've got a lot that you're not aware of right now. Now's not the time to be making a move. 
okay? Now is the time to be really trusting your intuition. If there's something under the surface that you're dismissing, don't. Because it's your intuition telling you to, to pay attention to this. You've got, you know, like I said, the justice card, she's all about truth. You've got the empress, she's about, you know, wisdom, inner wisdom. You've got the moon card, which is, you know, a card of, you know, you've got to let the stuff that's not valid fall away. And you've got the temperance card, which is a card of healing after something has blown through your life. Okay. Hang on. Don't worry. I'm going to leave you hanging. We'll look at this. I tend to think something didn't quite turn out how you had anticipated. The good news is, though, that it's over. The worst of it is over. Okay. I think it hit you on a financial front. And I think it may have hit you on an emotional front here. Okay. But it clearly was not what. Yeah. I think it financially hit you. Okay. The Nine of Cups, the Lover's Card, and the Six of Coins are clarifying where you're anchored. The Ace of Cups. Okay. When you pull that combination together, the Lover's Card is about choices. The Nine of Cups is about uh, either overindulging or it's, you know, it could be the Wish Card too. But I'm going to say it's not here. I'm going to say someone overindulged here. And you've got the six of coins, which is about balance, okay? Uh, financial stability. You've got the knight of cups here coming in with, I think you've got hit financially here by a relationship that just was not what it appeared to be. That's what I'm going to say here. I think it was an overindulgence in something here. The good news is, though, that, mm, for lack of a better way to put it, is that now it's a lot of the things that were under the surface have come to light or are coming to light, okay? With the moon card, the temperance card, the high priestess, the justice card, and now this as a clarifier, you know, it was overindulgence in something here. And it hits you hard on the home front. Okay? Because fives, again, need reassessment. Remember? Swords are up here, too. Okay? You know, harsh words may have been said. Something may have been blurted out that you may not have intended to ever come to light. It happens. Okay. Clarifying the moon. What's washing over this? is the Three of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the Seven of Swords, okay? So you've got heartbreak. To me, sometimes, too, that Three of Wands means three people, okay? And you've got the Seven of Swords. Deception, okay? That's pretty much what is going on here, okay? Yeah. This card here, I'm clarifying in your fears, your hopes and fears, the Ten of Swords. You've got the Tower card, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Coins. That's a balancing act. Okay? It's a decision. It's choices. The Tower card is what's not meant to be standing again. It'll get washed away. That's why I'm saying to you, um, Eight of Wands, too, is I think something got blurted out or something got found out that wasn't supposed to. Or however it is, the Eight of Wands is, is 
rapid communication. It's, I think something may have just blurted out. But what I'm going to say here is with the moon card, the temperance card, and the high priestess. Okay. And the magician card. If you're on the receiving end of this, you're going to come through it. And you're going to come through it fine. Okay. Trust your intuition here. That's what's really calling to you here. Okay. Justice is, is at the top of your reading. When she shows up in this kind of read, you're going to get what's coming to you. Okay. Um, and that's, you know, balanced with whatever end of the, you know, scope you're on here. Um, but this card and this card, they go hand in hand. Okay. What you come out with here um, may not look like a blessing in disguise yet, but it will. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. I hope that I've helped you in some way. Um, if you need further clarity, just reach out to me. Okay. I'd be more than happy to look at anything for you. Uh, I hope you have a great uh, rest of October and I'll be back with videos for November. Okay. Thank you so much.